Hey everyone, Elizabeth from the Pistos team here. Today we welcome Monique, one of our great friends from Newcastle Days, to share her story of God's faithfulness and what it means to find her identity in Him. It's a great story. Please have a listen and share it to others so that they can be encouraged as well. All right, see you soon. Stay faithful. Hi guys, my name is Monique and I am a 25 year old Christian from Penrith, Sydney. And I've been asked by the amazing team at Pistos to um, jump on and just share a little bit about how I've um, been able to keep my identity fixed on Christ, in Christ. Um, and yeah, just about God's goodness and faithfulness in um, my story. So I hope this will encourage your faith as well. Um, when I first moved out of home, I moved from Newcastle, shout out to the Newcastle fam and friends, and I moved to Penrith. And so my whole identity changed. I was no longer a uni student. I was no longer living at home. I had started a new job. Everything was just new. And the only thing that was the same was my identity in Christ. So I knew I had to hold on to that. Um, and God was really faithful. Not only did he get me a, a job here um, at my dream job, um, he actually provided a place for me with a Christian lady, a fully furnished room, a street away from the hospital. And it was just, so um, yeah, he's so faithful to me in that. And then fast forward a little bit, about six months later, I had my big breakup um, in my life and I was left feeling really lonely, um, questioning my identity, wondering what I'm supposed to do. Um, God was really faithful in just constantly being with me and being my comforter. Um, anyway, and then we went to a young adults retreat at my new church. And at that retreat, I was like, God, just give me a new man. I'm sick of being lonely. I'm sick of being alone. And um, God was like, no, I have other plans. Um, <laughs> stop trying to find your identity in a relationship. Find it in me. And um, he was teaching me how to be healed. And he, he healed my heart from that breakup on that retreat. And it was really awesome. And so after that, I got more involved in serving. And I got more involved in my church. And I was really actively passionate um, about living in Christ and it was great for a while um, and then I started to feel lonely again and I started to crave another relationship um, and I had noticed this boy at church called Sam and um, for some reason this guy kept friend zoning me and I was like okay well I don't know what to do now and I started going through all those um, identity crisis issues again and um, God was just so faithful in reminding me who I was that yeah he just kept saying be patient just wait on me like you're my daughter you're my child if he doesn't see your worth I see your worth um, anyway a couple couple months later in the year well, it was actually probably like 10 months um, the guy asked me out and that was only once I'd found my identity content in just being a child of God and not needing a relationship, that's when it all changed and now I'm engaged to the guy. So um, yeah, like I have prayer journals on prayer journals about that whole relationship. And so the only reason that Sam and I are together is because God intervened and was faithful. And while I've been dating um, and engaged to Sam, we've had a lot of ups and downs um, in our life. It hasn't all been roses and sunshine. Um, which I thought it would be engaged, I thought everything would be fine. Um, I actually noticed that I started having, um, just in the last year, I've been having uh, panic attacks, I've been attacked with thoughts of depression or anxiety, um, maybe you can relate to those things. Um, they're very common but they're not spoken about so I'm here to say that God is faithful and he can transform your life through these things. Um, I believe it and I've seen it in my own life and in other people's lives. Um, so if that is you, I just I really pray um, against that spirit in your life that the spirit of the living Christ will be the, the source of your, your life. Um, but yeah, so I've had some times where I felt really lost in my faith. Um, even turning 25, I was having a bit of a midlife crisis and um, you know, God kept saying to me, no, Monique, you, you are my child. It doesn't matter what your age is, you're still my child. Um, and just reminding me that my identity comes from him and him alone. And I started reading a book um, called The Well-Watered Woman. So it's just about constantly being watered. You can't just take water once and then think you'll be watered, but just a friendly reminder to you all that Jesus is the living water who will bring life back to you. And like my little plants here that I don't know how they're surviving, um, 
just being watered regularly um, is my encouragement to you. If you want to stay faithful in God and you want to keep your identity in Him, you've got to stay close to the water source and you've got to make sure that you don't, um, yeah, you don't stray too far from that. But you know you can always come back to it and He can revive your roots and He can grow you. Um, yeah, so I guess that's what I wanted to share today and just pray blessings over you all. So stay faithful. Oh, 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 oh,